Oh, hey, how you guys doing? We're back in Wonderland today, and we are going to do a review over this little gem. It is the Rock Pro Mega 3 palette. I have had this for roughly three weeks now, and all I can say is this is my bag. This one is amazing. I really, really enjoy this palette. I did my look today almost completely with this palette. I added in a little shout out to the Urban Decay Electric palette. I used the color Chaos right y'all. And I actually used, ugh, flinging things. I actually used the brush it came with this little baby end and I wetted the uh, color chaos and I did the lower lash line and outer wing with that color. And I absolutely love this brush. This isn't a review over this palette, but I do enjoy. Um, All together I used, let's bring this one out. I, I used snow in the inner corner. I used glacier to kind of transition that white into the dark gray which is the deep fog and then I used the jet black to do the outline of the wing and then I ended up wetting it with that same small end on the Urban Decay brush and used it basically as a liquid liner opposed to my like trusty old NYC and I really enjoyed the way this one performed wet and dry. It's fantastic. I was thinking when I wetted it, it wouldn't perform as well, but it did excellent. Such a surprise. Anyways, you have a lovely white um, package with a nice rose gold lettering. Do love the packaging. Only downside, and I have heard other people mention this, uh, easy to get dirty. I mean, so far I have a little bit of staining, but Nothing too intense. I'm hoping if I just kind of like use a little cleaning product, it will come off. Um, this palette has a lovely, huge mirror. Um, it's actually a really good quality mirror and it's like you can easily do your makeup with, which you don't find in many makeup palettes, I've noticed. They have two rows of mattes right through here and two rows of shimmers. I love Lorox shimmers. They are amazing. <laughs> They're not chunky. They do a really smooth application and give you just that perfect shimmer touch. And I'm already dabbing in. This palette is extremely pigmented. That's probably what I love the most. It's very buttery and all of the colors blend out like a charm. You see me not trying to touch the edges because I don't want to get it any dirtier any faster than it already will be. I will not be swatching all of the colors because there are 32 in total and I don't think anyone wants to watch me swatching those for a full eternity. Um, I'm going to pick from a couple of my favorite shimmer shades and my favorite mattes and show you how those perform. So let's get into it. So starting from top to bottom, you are looking at Kava right here. This one is going to be our lovely cider. Next in line is our rose quartz, followed by brown sugar. This one right here is a lovely sequoia. And very last one is licorice. As you can see, they have a gorgeous sheen to them, nothing too intense. This kava is beautiful for that inner corner all over getting a nice blend. I love this one. Which one was this one again? Cider. I love cider as a transition color, but all together, as you can see, all of these colors work magnificently together. And that's one thing I noticed in the palette is all of the colors are very cohesive. There's not one that just kind of stands out and doesn't work with any other color. I would say pomegranate is the most standout color in the palette 
and it still works with everything. You can still just add that as a pop of pink or red to your like rose gold, red, brown colors going on. Next up in the lineup is the matte shades. Starting from top to bottom, again, this one is toffee. You have pecan right below it, walnut following in line, hickory, eggplant, and their jet black. As you can see, that jet black is very pigmented. It's not streaky at all, in my opinion. And again, all these colors blend perfectly together. But again, I absolutely love, where is it? Eggplant right here. This one is such a gorgeous red-brown color and it works so well with all the other ones. I've noticed Toffee is a lovely, lovely one to blend into the crease as well as a good transition color. But again, they all work extremely well together and I would highly recommend buying it. If I had to choose one palette to use for the rest of my life, it would most likely be this one. I've reached for this one every single day since I've bought it, even if it's just like a little touch in the inner corner or highlighting my brow bone, I'm using it. I'm pulling it out, using it. Only critiques, oh dear God, I've already got a black spot. <laughs> Anyways, ooh, I already got a black spot on it, so exactly. Um, it being a white palette, kind of don't like that, the fact that I can't keep it clean. Another one would be, it doesn't come with a makeup brush. I mean, most everyone has their own at this point in time, but if you're looking for a palette that does come with their own, I wouldn't get this one. Um, altogether, 32 shades. It ran around, I believe I got it for 49. So you're looking at a pretty good price per shade. But that's all folks. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please subscribe down below, give this video a like. You can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, or Facebook. They will be in the link below. And I hope you all have a fabulous day.